Hello, my name is Ted and welcome to the launch of the Storm 80 and 1000 C. And yes, the C stands for color, meaning that today is all about our latest innovation in color LED technology and our brand new Blair CG engine. And by the end of this presentation, you will see more than just a brand new light engine. You're gonna be seeing entirely new colors. Now with the Storm 1200X, we used Blair, our newly designed beyond bicolor light engine that's capable of creating the world's first fully tunable white light. It solved the problem of accurately matching things like the sun, clouds, incandescence, and fire. But what about everything that goes beyond natural light? Today's world is full of all kinds of artificial light, and man-made objects. So as filmmakers, how do we match something like the neon glow of Times Square, or a green designer dress, or maybe even the exact yellow of a product that your client has spent literally hours of their life perfecting. Well, for this and more, we are proud to introduce Blair CG, the new standard for color in filmmaking. As you know, a camera can only capture the light that is put in front of it. Human brain, fill in some gaps, right? This is perceived color. But a camera can only record the information if it is there in the first place, which means that if a part of the spectrum is not present because a fixture or a light has some deficiency, then yes, those colors will never be recorded, no matter how good your camera is. And worse, our filmmakers are then put in a situation where colors can appear correct to the human eye on set, then proceed to be completely wrong on camera. And this has been the problem since the beginning with filmmaking and LED lighting. Well, I am proud to say that our new Blair CG color engine does this and more. It offers a greater range of colors than any other film LED system, creating colors that are impossible with any other film light to date. And going beyond that, the advanced design of the Blair CG engine has been precision calibrated in every way possible, resulting in a color tunable light that is more accurate, that's more adjustable, more trustworthy than ever before. But let us show you what that means. And to do that, let me bring in my friend, Navter, principal engineer, and head of the ASC MITC lighting committee, Tim Kang. Good to see you. Hi. Got a question for you. Saturated colors and the Blair CG engine. What are we talking about here? Well, if you remember, uh, well, it was five years ago now that we made a video about this exact topic. You're talking about the Indie Muggler video, the problem with RGB lighting. Yeah, what's going on, Indie Mugglers? My name is Ted, and today I'm here with my buddy Tim Kang. Hey, guys. Yes. And it discussed how they've never been able to, at the time, produce the many colors that exist in the real world. And the only solution at the time was a physical solution. You had to gel um, LED uh, film lights set to white. Right? That was a big yeah. deal because, again, LED film lights, they have a mode in it. They have a gel mode. Right. That is supposed to create a certain color, right? Right. They were supposed to recreate the phenomenon of taking a tungsten unit or HMI unit um, that had a gel on it, uh, but they just couldn't produce the physics. It w the, so the actual result wasn't um, close to real things sometimes. And I remember at the time, the only option was to literally put a gel on a film LED light. So we talked a lot about the perceived color of light and actual light being confusing because they didn't match, right? So it didn't matter if you're using a cheap LED or a high-end uh, professional expensive unit, right? Uh, every film light, uh, film LED had this problem. As you can recall, traditional RGB units and their many variations resulted in these limited color ranges that you can, you know, most cameras were trying to pick up, right? So these tricky limitations resulted from deficient and undesirable parts of the color spectrum in their systems. So to illustrate this, we've got, we redid the tests um, and we put it on camera and we started off with the gold standard spectrum uh, that's lighting um, this test area in the back. It's incandescent light, metered very close to 3200 Kelvin, very close to zero DUV. And we added different saturated color gels to the incandescent unit. So in this test that you see here, we measured these color values and the spectrum of these colors. We programmed all these lights that we're testing that you're seeing in the results today. And you can see in the split screen that how they both compare to the incandescent unit. And not only do we have here the final image, we also have the spectrum readouts. In this example here, as you can see, a typical RGB LED struggles to match many of these colors. Orange, 
yellow, and there's green issues and a magenta, right? Next, we tested against standard Rex09 video hue targets at 100% saturation. We cycled through increments of 30 degrees around the color wheel on the Blair CG light and two legacy RGB ACL lights. Looking at the final results, Blair CG comes closest to the original target color. Lastly, we use white light to illuminate a foreground object and color light from a Blair CG unit on the background. The goal was to get the Blair CG unit to match the color of the object, and I think we did a pretty good job of it. So, the Blair CG results show how well we've addressed the past problems with RGB. So, as you can see here, we match the direct color of the gold standard spectrum, and we can now match expected color objects lit by this gold standard spectrum. Which means that the problem with RGB lighting itself. Thank you, Tim. All right, before we get out of Aperture, I just want to mention, we know that as filmmakers, you guys have a super wide range of needs and every single one of those needs, they require a specific tool that is designed for that job. And if you need tunable light light, adjustable color temperature, green magenta shift, and a whole lot of output, then the Blair engine and the Storm 1200X are gonna be for you. But if you need to create a particular color, reach an extreme CCT, match a gel or match a colored object precisely and repeatedly, then in that case, something like the Blair CG light engine and the Storm 80 and 1000C might be for you. But that is everything you need to know about the ADC 1000C and the Blair CG engine. If you've got any questions, leave them down below in the comments. Tim and I will catch them down below. But my name is Ted. That is all for now. And... We'll catch you guys next time.